white chocolate peppermint bark, flavored coffees, I don't care if it's hazelnut, it tastes like poison, and Log4J. The worst things to probably ever happen. Ever. Hazelnut is gross. <sighs> Log4J may be the worst vulnerability we've ever seen. A lot of companies are calling it the worst vulnerability of the past decade, and I don't think they're wrong, and here's three reasons why. First, it's a hugely popular package. It's had 28.6 million downloads in the past four months. It's among the top 300 most prevalent packages by download. And what's so worrisome about it, it doesn't matter if you're an open source, closed source, if you do custom development, it's found everywhere. It exists in places you might not expect. I found it in my home network. I don't run production software. I run a couple home servers in my home lab. And what's worse is I scanned it with Qualys and Nessus and I didn't find it. I found it in one of my Docker containers that logs out to one of my shares, which isn't really exposed. Now, it would make it a theoretical attack, but it leads to the second point. There's not a good way to find it. And that's what leads to so much fear over this is it can exist everywhere and it can get pulled in from dependency to dependency to dependency and it's not fully patched everywhere. You're sometimes waiting on a third party package to pull in their updates for you to pull that package into yours. Scanning through libraries or even doing unauthenticated scanning or agent-based scanning isn't finding all the copies because you have to systematically go through your classes. And if someone compiled it from open source and put it in the package, it's not going to show up. So we're having to rely on a lot of like weird workaround protections. Like one of the biggest protections that have been put in place right now is stopping servers from reaching out over the internet for LDAP connections, because there's not really a reason that most servers would ever need to do that. Third and most importantly, and why I think it is the worst vulnerability we've ever seen, is we're living in an age where we log everything. And the main reason for that is packages like log4j. Historically, logging took too many resources or too much time or there was latency. Log4j is a speed first package. It is created so you can collect laws, but not sacrifice resources. Like if it fails, it just doesn't log. Or I mean, there's different ways to set it up. But for the most part, they cared about speed, not resiliency. So we pulled it into everything. And it, the way you exploit this is you inject your payload anywhere where it could possibly be logged, which is like everywhere. There's even been intrusion prevention systems that have been vulnerable to it. Like one of the craziest ones I've seen is with an, a wireless intrusion detection system that looks for rogue access points where you set the payload in an SSID and it detected it and then ran it. Everywhere is an injection point. I cannot say that enough. Anywhere, it's not like you have to protect an individual form field. Anywhere where they could have logged data becomes a point of injection. That is what is terrifying with this. Because of its prevalency, how hard it is to find in the sheer number of injection points, it may be the worst one. If there's other reasons, let me know in a comment down below. And if you like hazelnut coffee, you're wrong. And hack on.